Hello and welcome back, I'm Big Joe, and this is Transport Fever to the Deluxe Console Vanilla Edition Season Thingamajig. Uh, last time the episode was a lot longer than I thought, about two episodes longer than I wanted it to be. Sorry about that, hope some of you liked it. Today we're going to concentrate a little better by not getting distracted. Squirrel! So how are things going? Um, just fine, just fine. I, I don't think we have any real big issues besides obviously the new ship line. Uh, I did set that up to hit the uh, 400 uh, the, the, the line rate, that's the word, that I wanted. And I put this canal in here, that's the last straggler that's going that way. But this one should start making money here pretty soon. So that is nice. This is mostly a lot of new ships that are currently on, on the thing. The, the button of doom, up here is just the connection from Witness to uh, Dunstable. And eventually we'll fix that. Not right now, because that's that's distraction. What do we need to do today? Really simple. I would like to get the first goods delivered to somewhere, so we need some steel. Where should we get steel from? Oh, glad you asked, because we have a lot of options for that, and I, I kind of like this location. Uh, partially, besides because we only have one uh, coal mine right here, but we have another coal mine sitting there and there. Both of those are shippable, which is nice. And just in general, this this is already on the line. So, what does that mean? We're hitting a pause button. We have 12 million in the bank. I just talked for like 20 seconds, and we have 6 million more in the bank. That's wonderful. Um, but we have to make something work. The first thing... Sorry, <laughs> all the breath here. I'm kind of excited for all of this. Um, give me the brush, give me a size that I like, and we're just gonna click here, and we're gonna flatten out an area. Flatten out the area just like this. We can make it pretty and all that later on. We have we have some money to spend. I'm not, I'm not that shy right now. And that's how it looks. Uh, the way that the game, however, likes to do things is it re reconstructs soil when it's done. And I did something a little stupid because, I'll show you why, I need to find a semi-straight piece. I think a semi-straight piece is right there. We're gonna use that as our lineup for the um, train station that I'm gonna put in here. It just has to be cargo. I need, what do I need? I could do this. I could totally do this and just use the right side. Actually, I will use the right side and the left side together do I want normal passing tracks? Yes, I want passing tracks. So I'm gonna do three lines. I'm gonna make it really long because this is gonna be a train that transports coal and iron to our steel mill. That's very important. Do I like it right here? Yes, I, I do think I have to do a couple things after we're done, but I think this one is fine for right now. Obviously the height is not perfect anymore because it already changed, um, but who cares? Who cares is right, right? Right, cool. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't think. No, I'm just. I'm just gonna use two, two lines for right now because I don't think I need more than that. I. I was thinking I want to put a, another building on this side. We still can, um, but I don't have to make that a separate platform. So I could have just done the four platforms that I that I initially had. But never mind. Um, talking about being like focused and not distracted on things. This one is a is a great testament and start to that. Now, obviously. We need this to look a little more professional. So let's make, make that professional. We'll just shove this train all the way back to the, uh, to the crossing, and we'll see how we can make this work. That feels pretty appropriate right away. So that's good. And now we need this one to actually connect to something. Now we can choose several things. What I would like to do in this case, I think, is just extend the junction that we already have going on here, and we'll see how that goes. Not gonna go like that. I can tell you that, all right. <laughs> um, I would like this one to actually jump in here, but that's that's just not gonna work. That that that's a different game. <laughs> that's a that's an entirely different game. But this one is working. Okay. If that one is working, I do have to get rid of the signal. I saw a couple posts of this. If you can zoom out and find the blue icon for the signal to remove the signal, it makes life a little easier. I 83, 83 is probably appropriate for right now, but maybe not, let's see. I'd like this as fast as possible, but I would like this also to be usable and playable and all that. Yes, we can do double slip junctions and all that stuff, but 
you know me, that's not my favorite. Oops. <laughs> Oops, can you go can you go back to where you were, please? That would be wonderful. Um, let's line that up. All right there. Yep. Construction not possible. Why? Seriously, why? What's your problem? <laughs> why, why do you not like this anymore? This is exactly where you came from. Um, okay, I guess from there it works, and from the other side it doesn't work. That's all right. Now you are s switched, so you have to go the other way. And I would actually like to would like for you to get out of the way for me really quick. Thank you. Okay, um, so this is not not doing what I wanted to do. I could speed this up and all. Um, I mean editing wise, but that where's the fun in that? I want you to see my struggles. Now I can see that I can kind of slip in there. So I should be able to slip in here. 120, 111, 91. Okay, but this is this is usable because what I really want here is not extend this junction much more than I have to. Um, but a little bit is okay. So that's my in, that's my in, that's my in, and then our signals should be fine. Which means at this point, if I just put some signals on this track here, probably here, then we're good to go. All, all the all the original connections are there and happy and all that. And that's that's great. That's wonderful. I want this to be a really long piece of track because the train that's gonna run on here is gonna be really long. And that's that's all. That's the only reason there. And yeah, this can be a little slower. That is fine. Um, what do we have going on here now? Two platforms for one line should be more than sufficient, so that feels fine. And yeah, we're just gonna go simple. Simple diamond crossing right in front of the station, and I, I would like 120, please. 102, oh, well, that's all I get then. Because at some point, this is getting really long. There you go, get me a signal, and I don't know how long the train is gonna be, but for right now, we're just gonna assume that one train fits in there and one train is in the station. Easy enough, and the station is expandable this direction, and that should make life easy. Easy enough. Stop using the same word. Good. Got it. Um, give me some tentacles. There are tentacles. Give me some connection to this guy. Uh, got that too, and then give me a connection. <clears throat> wow, voice, come back. There you are. Cool. Get me in here. Yes, that's totally fine. And now click on this and be white. Be white, I mean, just be highlighted, really. So, on this side, is there a universe in which we could connect this? I think I could play this so that I move everything over to the left a little bit. If I put the station in the middle here, expand the station, make the station as wide as possible through configuration, I may be able to connect that, but I have a feeling I won't get that this time. But I'm going to try it anyways. Let's see how wide I can go. Um, oh, okay, that, that's as wide as I can go out. Got it. I need a cargo building of some sort on this side, which we can't build there, but I can build at the end. Sure, this is fine. Looks 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 reasonable enough. And now I'm just gonna try this just to say I tried it. That's a connection. And then all the way here, the closest tentacle I can get is right there. I am pretty certain that this is not connected. It's not connected. So if I move the whole station over, I can play with this up to the point where I can probably connect to both uh, both both sides, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. So you're here. Give me a straight piece. There you go. Um, now everything's connected. I would like to just have a couple of trucks to move the stuff around from over here. And once we have to, we can add trucks for there and there and there. Like all these other things too. And this one can also be a nice train line. It's just an isolated train. That will be cool. But we don't need that yet. Um, also, there are a lot of things because this is a this is supposed to be a tutorial series for everyone that is not super familiar with the game. There are several threads that always pop up that ask about truck efficiency and effect effectiveness and all that stuff. Um, don't sweat it. It's it's fine. Trucks are trucks can take care of you. <laughs> so let's put it that way. Um, should we do this? No, actually, I want you to be on the other side. But if I do that, I can just flip you around, connect you here. I don't hate it. Configure. Um, give me the connection on the other side. This is really just for connectivity. Then, of course, a street that is round, like that. Easy enough. And now we have a connection on that side. Cool. Now I just need one over here, and I don't mind having something 
think I say I don't mind a lot, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I definitely do. Let's put something here just at the end so to make it reasonable and look nice. And we're just gonna have a super short stop because this one is not gonna store anything. Nothing at all is gonna be stored here. So that's good, that connection is there. We have all these things. Does it look a little ugly? Sure, but I'm not gonna change it right now, it's fine. Angles are cool. Everyone should have more angles, <laughs> whatever that means. Put that one there and let's get our, do I wanna set this up yet? Sure, let's set this up real quick. This is, and I, I saw a nice suggestion on one of the comments, which is use L for trucks for lorry. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can dig that. This is the Dunn Iron. Yeah, Dunn Iron. <laughs> Have you done iron today? <laughs> you, you know I did. Um, give me cargo, give me this, give me one. Obviously I didn't because I've bad knees now and I, I, I do not appreciate um, just going pumping irons all day because that is the most boring thing for me, just for me, not for everyone else. Um, that I can think of doing. So I don't I don't really do that, but I do love going swimming and biking and doing other things. And I did go swimming today with the boy. That was fun. Cool. Um, yeah, that's set up and that should be happy go lucky. Now I need a train line set up here and that's a big train that we want. And eventually we should get a bigger um, train set up for this. So that's good, go over there. Um, I will preface, prefess, prefix, prefess this. But you can use both sides, that's fine. Uh, if you come in here on, on this side, I want you to use um, definitely seven. No, you're a drop off, but you're a long drop off. Okay, if you're a long drop off, I probably want you to go to either of the long stations. Okay, so six and seven it is. Those two are my long drop off stations here, even though they're supposed to be the pickups, so we'll see how that goes. And I want you to wait until loaded on the first one. Super simple, cool. Uh, yes, that's good. And this one is now definitely a train, T for train, because why not? And this is done bricks, hopper. Hopper steel supply. So I know that this hopper copper stuff for a steel supply chain. Maybe I'll remember that. You don't know if I forget it right away. I'll, I'll try my best. Um, what train? Oh, we have a bigger one. We have the Atlantic. How are you doing? You're not really bigger. You're you're not really bigger, and we don't have bigger cargo units yet, do we? No. What is my length? What is what is the last building I built here? Length was three twenty. I can still make it a little longer, but longer, but three twenty is probably a pretty good. Um, pretty good goal for right now. So let's find a cargo line with a hopper car that I like. These are fine. Make it about 320. Why? Um, because I want to try it. <laughs> I don't know that I have a train. Maybe this is a triple header, which is probably not going to help me very much. But we don't have diesel, we don't have electric, and we have this. Do I want you or do I want you? Well, here's the thing. Uh, tractive effort, tractive effort. Yeah, the 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 three five is just a little better than the four four two. The four four two maybe the four four two two is definitely better than the ten wheeler, but we don't need it yet. And that one got a reskin. That's pretty. I want to use you. Um, let's put at least two on here. Shift click on that. I hope that's on the console available too. Gives us to this. I would say this one runs at mediocre. Is way Huh, 21. Look, where did our money come from? <laughs> Get all that money. Um, I think this is too big. I, got, I gotta start smaller. Let's do length of 200 meters. There you go. Let's start with this. We're even the good range. That's nice. Um, let's, add, let's add more wagons until we're at least not in the good range. Well, this is fine. Start with this. I'm hoping that we need more than one train on this route. This is really what I'm getting down to. This is the hopper steel supply. Cool. Hopper Steel Supply, how are you doing? First, train, train watch, there it is. Woo, they got dirty, dirty after a while, which is pretty cool. 224, how much do we have to move? Um, 800, so good news. Triple header it is. <laughs> Managed vehicle, um, edit, give me another train. 
this one, you can actually be semi in the middle. That's just like a, there's a name for it and someone can put that in the comments, please. But there's a name for what that thing is called. Make you 320, 7 million extra. And now what is your, what is your rate? 328, oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close, but that's okay. You are here now. Let's turn off the line overview so we can see this. There's another train back there. And these are all pushing together. And you are blocking my junction now, buddy. <laughs> That's not good. Don't want you to block my junction. But that is what long trains do. Um, I will say I like the trains better if all the locomotives are in the same location. So let's change that quick. Come on. There you go. Move you to the front. Money. And now we have a triple header. Yeah, we have a double header and triple header running just for this line. That's beautiful. And you just have to turn around here in just a minute. Is this station long enough for... Why are you parking? Why are you parking? Oh, because there's a train already in this in this section. That is, that is my bad. Let's get a signal there. Let's clearly get a signal here. And then obviously get a signal here so they can figure out what they need to do. Then we need a signal on the way in and definitely a signal on the way in. This one can probably hold two more signals because the trains are supposed to be shorter, uh, much shorter on that side. Let's check that this length actually fits here. Um, quick gut check, totally fits, uh, which tells me I can, do a, uh, I, I can do something. 328, okay, manage vehicle. Let's do this again. Give me one, two, three more for 1.6 million and you are 373. Cool. Uh, give me one more. I'm really close. 88. Okay. I, I'm just I'm just trying to pass this up now to get to uh, 400, and I want to double. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done what I just did. I did one extra every time, and then I did two extra on the last one. Let's remove the newest one at the end, and we're at 403. Perfect. Once I have a little bit of money, I can make this a double train. What is your length now? Manage vehicle again, click on this. My length is 378. So let's make the station that we just built over here long enough to actually receive that train. Uh, configure, yes, platforms, absolutely. Can you fit a platform here? Yes, you can. You can't fit one there, okay. Mm, shouldn't be the end of the world, but what, what were we? We were 320, uh, 360, 400. So yeah, I would like to actually fit that one there which we can, I just have to make a couple adjustments, just, just a couple little ones, meaning this, this whole bridge has to go all the way back um, and a little extra. <laughs> okay, that should work. Uh, don't delete everything, configure. Yes, I do have to stop here and that does cost me money, but I was surprised to see how much money we actually got to in that time frame. What is the length now? 320, each of these segments is 40 meters. 60, 400. This is a 400 meter length platform. I like asymmetry. So let's keep that going. We'll just do it like this, this, this. Perfect. Great. And then that one is just for, we can't fit it there. Perfect. <laughs> Why would I want it there? Now we just get to extend you back to here. That's the only bridge we have available at this point. So there's no, no real options. Get that one. Put the signals in and then everyone should be pretty happy this yeah that that is pretty long i like it that one goes there and then these these already fit in cool we have three ships waiting that's not good <laughs> uh 434 we're just a little high which means i think i'm just gonna remove oh you're bringing plastic back already you're also bringing plastic back i would like a ship that doesn't have anything you're 31 units loaded uh sell you <laughs> let's see I d yeah 400 that, that's what i want i just need to move 400 units and that's fine passenger wise i think we're doing fine and we can probably add a couple more things you're running almost full but we're not we're not leaving anyone at the station here so that's actually really good however we have a bunch of people waiting there but also only a handful so so far everything is so good this train is going to get a makeover, though. What's the makeover? Right now, it's only moving oil, but I also needed to move steel to this location at the length that we can actually afford, which we already know is longer than what the station right now is. So let's get this station upgraded to the train that we need and hope by the time we're there, the station is long enough. 
do I, I should just know what this is. Probably just a 240. One, um, that's not helping. One, two, counting the signs. Three, four, five, six. Six times four. Oh boy. Yeah, that was 240. <laughs> not 280. 320. Um, 360, 400. So add two more to this one, and that is the max, max length that we have on the two stations that are currently in existence here and this is that is that should be fine get you there get you here and then i should probably reserve at least the track for the passenger line that will go for you yeah we're gonna do that talking about not getting distracted i don't know how to get not how to not get distracted we're already at 20 minutes i just finish this line and then we can we can all move on with our lives and everyone is happy and all that's fine you don't necessarily have to complete all of this stuff. I just want to complete it uh, because, well, you don't want to complete it because you have to pay maintenance on it. But I do want to complete it because I want to make sure that we actually um, can use this later on. You don't have to place all this track here for the station. You can actually make the track a uh, regular track too, but the problem with that is that um, your station gets chopped up into really small pieces. What do I mean by that? Let's get a piece of track here, run it next to this line, like this. Do you see how there's a lot of little buttons there? Or delete this, delete, like, it's it's not just one segment of track now. It's, it's a lot of segments of track, and it takes longer to delete. So when you can avoid it, do this, but you're not always going to be able to avoid this, because at some point, I'm just going to show you that right now, because we can. We're going to take this back just a little bit, remove that piece because it was still there. At some point, you will have to have some merger. Uh, let's do this. Um, I think that should be fine. I, th I think I have a little more extra, a little much room here, but it should be should be okay. 88 is not excellent, but it's something that we can work with. We get you in there, we get you across here. We should get you across there relatively easy if you just play along. Let me do the thing. Thank you. Then from here, I need to connect to there. Great. That's still the 88 that we saw earlier. And now this one can just go right into what we had going on before. Cool. So now the station in itself has a bunch of straight track, but we still have the passenger line built into the continuation of the main line, which is important because that's what we're really doing here. Give me something that is 120. Um, that's all I want. So that building we're going to take out, but everyone else can stay. That's important here. Hey, look, another building is already being built, and that is very common when this happens. I just wanted to have a start for the next part of the line. Not really sure what we're gonna do here, but something is gonna happen. So 120 that way and 120 this way and now. Now I'm at least insured for the next part of the journey. Whew, cool. What am I missing? I'm missing that this whole station thing also has to move uh, goods to the places that I care about. Oh well. Okay, we have some money now. Let's make these trains a lot bigger. Um, I, I'm not ready yet to increase my speed a lot to get bigger trains, so we're just going to work with what we have. And I think we're going to have another triple train setup coming up because we're currently at 228 meters. Cool. And our line rate is 374. That is uh, probably about 30 less than what I want it to be. Okay, well, in that case... Manage vehicles. Manage just, eh, yeah, we're going to do both of them. I would like this to be 400 Not before, before I start doing anything else. So give you one extra and give you one extra. What does that take us? 406. Perfect. And now we need 17 more cars to do the other side. Is that right? We need just 100. 100 pieces of steel right now. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're not, we're not going to go crazy because we only have one level of stuff happening yet so we don't have to go past that at all give me this is definitely going to require another train uh we got a new bus cool post bus post bus however you want to call that uh put you here 
put you here and send you all the way to the front and then add our cargo, which is steak cars. I like the American ones uh, because they're fun and we have 400 meters to work with. So let's start with 390 on each. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. 19 million, we totally have that. And our rate is now 737, way too high. <laughs> Didn't I just tell myself that we only needed to account for a hundred more units of steel to actually get moved around? Um, that was very stupid. Very stupid of me. And uh, you shouldn't do the same mistake. Make the same mistake. How many? How many? We have four. Four of the steel cars on there. Maybe that's actually the right amount already. So let's delete a couple thingies here. This one needs one more, please. And actually, you need two more. Okay. And now they're the same, 307 meters, modify, and our rate is, I need 500 something. You're a little higher, you're just a little higher, but I think that is okay because our line is set to wait until something, so it doesn't have to wait until completely full. So that should work. Now, are our trains actually able to uh, move the stuff that we put on them? They're set to good, perfect. If I take one off, they're set to mediocre, so we're not gonna remove one. Excellent. Um, how's this going? <laughs> we have a lot of everything sitting here. Now, you may run it. We run into that issue because this guy alone cannot make this happen. I need this raid to also be the 400 units that this guy is moving. So there are two things we're going to do now. Uh, first, we're going to manage vehicle and turn this line into a moneymaker. Um, let's see here. 211 sounds great. Give me all of them, W, then we should be at 420 something, and then remove like two cars. I, I didn't want to make it more complicated, just less clicks, hopefully. Two cars less, Ah, oh, come on. Uh, one car more, 405. That's as close as we're gonna get, beautiful. So this should work flawlessly, obviously, because reasons. And there's one thing we want to handle, which is over here, because it's right next to this coal mine, it's always going to load uh, coal or more coal. It's just coming in. So we're going to fix that right now. Uh, we want to manage the line, manage line, click the buttons, and we go here. What do we want to load? It should be pretty self-explanatory. We want to load coal and iron. Cool. We're just going to turn those off. And both of those are on 50%. The train itself does not care, but since we need this to operate well, we actually need to set this so that we can produce as many steel units as we can every time. So 50-50 should get us there. Um, yep, that looks good, save that. And now I'm expecting this train to be about half-half. I don't think the game does exactly half-half, but about half-half is what I expect. It's the first pickup. So this one was already preset before the train was even here, but that should be okay. But we have so many long trains and that's exciting. And this little sector needs to be redone next time, 100%. Okay, last thing, um, South Kirkby. Yes, you are here and there's an iron mine right there that we're not gonna use probably ever. So that is okay. And if we have to ship in more, um, more cargo here. That is not the end of the world for me, I gotta say. So that's that's fine. Are we always gonna have three ships parked here? I don't like that. Having ships parked is usually a sign that you have, or having any vehicles parked and waiting is usually a sign that you have too much stuff going on. So you have to reduce the number of vehicles, ships on that line. But we also just recognized that our uh, train line was not transporting as much as I wanted it to transport. So that is okay. Last thing we have to do today is actually get stuff delivered. Where are we delivering to? We're delivering to Brixham, um, 94 units, and we're delivering to South Kirkby. Do you want 111 units? Wow, we're gonna blow these lines up in no time. We're just in the first little section here. That is great. We're gonna need to upgrade everything once both of these, uh, once one of these cities is actually connected because they're both gonna grow really, really fast. So. Yeah, you're only going to produce 100, which means we need 100 steel. Right now, everything is set up to only exist on the first level. I'm assuming you have a couple things already happening here. That's cute. Yeah, we have a lot of extra coal because the train so far didn't know that I wanted them to be more smart.
That's fine. Okay, let's set up the last thing. And to set up the last thing, we have to expand this train station just a little bit. Um, do I even have to recon? Yeah, I do have to reconfigure you manually first. Um, I just stuff is probably going to get lost, and I don't want to get lost uh, and stuff. Twenty-eight million. Yeah, we're, we're making money, and we're not making big mistakes, which makes me happy. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So now everything is disconnected here because that line is no longer uh, able to get anything from there, but we're going to get that back. No problem. We want all goods to be delivered from here. And by all goods, I mean literally this, this goods box. So uh, we need some tracks. Um, how long are the trains here? The trains really only have to cover a hundred a, a rate of 100 per cycle. So that is not a lot, actually. We're going to do this, um, and then should I introduce a slip line? Not yet. That is something we can do later. I think for right now, I'm just really going to set up for two, for two cities, because honestly, once those cities grow enough, we may not even be able to supply more cities than those two cities starting for, uh, that we're starting from. So let's put in a nice large cargo building here, because that will increase the size, the um, the storage that we have available for all of the things. Get me a tentacle. Beautiful. Now everything's connected there. We do need to connect this one again after we have a, a rail connection going through here. Let's see. Can we connect you? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but if you have the wrong angle, the game makes really stupid decisions for you. Well, that is not perfect, but that's going to do because these trains shouldn't care that much about the general speed that they're getting. So that is fine. Give me some smoothage. We're actually going to go back to normal speed. Well, uh, super speed, but normal speed. Uh, and then you, can you go back here? Straight line. Cool. Um, M, M, M. Looks fine. We can totally do level crossings here, but I prefer this. This is nice. I like this. 60,000. Cool. I'm expecting everything is connected back to everything. Wonderful. And now we just have to set up the last the last sector today. Wow. St trying to sprint through here. It's not as easy as it looks uh, because, well, things take time. Middle East, this is the first delivery. You're going out to Brixham, and we're going to deliver from here. And Brixham, I want you definitely to go to one of the smaller lines. So not seven. I want you to go to... Um, let's do, honestly, I can probably split these, 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 we're going to split, we're going to split because this is a short train. This is a very short train. There's no good reason why that train needs more than looks like three that needs three sections. So this is what we're going to do. Configure, take the middle piece out. Okay. 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 Uh, and here. And that effectively spits all of these platforms into multi-platforms, which is great. It has a front side and a, and a back side. So now we're just going to connect these with uh, fake thingamajigs. Cool. That should be clear. And I could extend this side because now we have three sections there. That's 120 meters and three sections here. This is going to be a train line or a train uh, that comes in that has a little more cargo loaded. So we're just going to extend this by a few platforms let's do two more two more cargo platforms should get us to uh, the winning winning location there we go there we go there we go and the last one great actually let me do that that's very very nice put you in here and get all of these done and now we can actually assign them to any of the uh, of the stations that we have sitting there which is exactly what we want Yes, a couple signals get removed. That is fine. We just have to make sure that we connect to the thing that we had. Beautiful. How about you? Also beautiful. Then we need to get you here. And here's a trick that I always use. Um, actually, this one may not make me require that trick. Make it nice and long so you get the highest speed. And you should, as long as there's not a big enough curve here, get a full diamond crossing as we did before. Uh, double slip that switch and double slip that switch. Get me a quick signal. We are paused. That's unpaused signal. Yes. Right here. Very good. There are a couple more signals there. That should be fine. 
And just for funsies, I'm gonna put a signal in between um, all of these, just so, and these are not one way, so these are just there to signify for me that those are separated um, sections. Now, let's look at the all supply. All supply, manage line, you are going to the wrong platforms now. That's okay. That's very okay, because the platforms that I want you to go to are on this side. <laughs> Like, the train is currently going through the whole station and it doesn't have to do that. So, let's fix that. Your main platform is going to be 2 or 4. Um, I think 2. Okay. And then your additional platforms are none of the... Let me tur turn them all off. Turn all the, the extra ones off. Terminal 2 is your main, main terminal. So, you go in there. So, I want you to go 2, 6... 8 and 10. So you're just going to go on this side and you should not block anything else on the other side, which is all I want from you. Wonderful. Um, I hope I taught someone something with that because it's. I, I think you can make really cool looking uh, stations with that. Well, this line, yes. You're going to go to Brixham. Yes, we can call this line what it is. This is going to be a train, a cargo train uh, specifically. And it's... Hold on. Hold on, I'm being stupid. I'm being, I'm being a little stupid. No, but the, the train that we have right now is running full one way and is always gonna run empty the other way. If we just add a couple extra wagons to that, it will only run full the other way a little bit unless uh, machines and goods can both be transported in boxcars. No, you know what? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna keep making this a separate line. Uh, just for now. This is T, this is Brixham, Box, Box Cars. Okay. Um, manage line, yes. In Brixham, well, in Middleton East first, you're waiting until you're full and you're only going to load um, boxes, obviously, or goods. In Brixham, you're going to come in on line three and then you can go to five seven and nine for obvious reasons cool that should work on this side and on the other side in middleton east let's go slide all the way over here um yes that's fine you can, you, you can just start there so what is the length that i have available for this one it's just it's sum so let's set that up get me a train get me by vehicles cargo i need box cars probably five to start with i don't know we'll, we'll figure that out later and i need a train that can actually handle this we've done this one a lot now i think the atlantic is a little overkill but maybe it's fine um, because this one will grow really fast you're already at mediocre so this doesn't feel that bad um give me maybe two more just just because it's fun buy that set you on our bricks and box cars very good, and then tell me what your rate is. 84, that's really close. That is really, really close to what we need. Uh, manage vehicle, click on the line so we can see what the what the new line is and set that one. And now it's 96. That should be the rate that we, that we wanna start with. So that is very nice. Yeah, something 94 is I think exactly what we're getting. Now we can choose to just build a truck line to deliver from Brixham to South Kirkby or set up a train line that goes into South Kirkby. Ah, Irkby, South Irkby. Someone said in the comments, it's a silent K. That's wonderful. So if you want to deliver to here, first I probably just have to set up the other side. Okay, let's do that. Um, the game is a little funky here uh, because I have to do something a little silly. I have to find a platform like that that I can put a cargo building on, like this. I'm gonna use a big one because again, it extends the, the capacity a little bit for, for that line. Then, um, now I can connect stuff to it. Otherwise I cannot connect directly to the, um, to the rail. Okay, cargo station. Gosh, just see time. I, I thought I was actually moving relatively fast in this episode, but not fast enough. Okay, let me set this up somewhere here that looks Actually, quite quite attractive. Oh, come on, just a little little extra. There, 
yeah let's keep that little rock feature right there where it is that's wonderful uh streets yes we have streets put that in there because that's what you're going to connect to that feels great and now just have to deliver boxes here give me another building what no there <laughs> there, there are little filters here and they confused me for just a second i want to deliver everything to brixham and that is this road i believe Apparently Brixham does not have a passenger connection yet. That is very interesting because apparently I forgot that. <laughs> maybe maybe bonus? Is there a bonus today? That, me that also means there's no current road depot just yet. So we're going to add that too while we're at it. Sure. Right there is fine. Let's get a new line. This is Brixham delivery. Brixham north to Brixham here. You wait until you load it, because otherwise you are useless. Um, this is a lorry, Brixham, uh, delivery. Sure, we're just going to do that for now. And by default, this one doesn't even cross itself, so that is pretty neat. I need at least one vehicle to go on that before anything is happening. And we can extend that later on. Cool. That's done. I'm, I'm really surprised to see that we don't have a, an inner transport sitting here. And this honestly is a tram route. Wow. This is a perfect tram route. There's a little extra over there, but let's see something. I may have to move the thing that I just added. Yes, this is a tram route. This is 100% a tram route. Put one there, put one here. And then up here, I could put a tram right in the middle there. I could make the tram just turn around here. It's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. These trams can actually just run in a circle. I don't hate that at all. I have not done that before, um, but I think we can actually benefit from that. Put this one here, the last one here, and I don't know if you can see what I'm gonna do, but the trams are just gonna run into that uh, around that middle circle and keep everyone happy. That means this, this stop is gonna move um, just to the side. So we're gonna delete that. As long as this little um, icon is still there, you are getting a chance to just reset it. Um, we're gonna go here because it should still have everything in, in delivery range. Do I wanna keep that or do I wanna keep this? Those, those two are probably in a good distance. This one is important because it's right next to the station. I think I'd rather keep the stations on, the, the, plat, the, the stations on this side than on that side. So let's remove you and you. Add another passenger uh, set up right here. That should be good. And now we should be covering the whole city. We also need to upgrade our roads. Let's just do it here. This tool, if you're wondering what the difference is, this tool usually uses a cheaper option to upgrade because the other tool may upgrade the road itself, which is not always what we desire. Like in this case, it actually upgraded the dirt road too to um, to have the the tram tracks, even though we didn't need to. The other tool, um, if you go down here to the to the magic wand, say electric and whatever, this one would upgrade this whole road to whatever we tell it to. Like right now, all of it will turn into that road, which is not what we need at this point. Um, did I pause? Yes, I paused for that other building. Now, give me a tram building like so so now it's connected and wonderful too much slope just don't slope then let's go to the other side do, 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 do. yep you're upgrading the road for me well there's extra money but that's fine um so give me two tram lines here this is one cool this is obviously tram t1 uh bricks because reasons. And then we have the second one, T2. Did I click it? Yes, I clicked it. This is T2 bricks. Honestly, um, at this point, we probably only need one tram each direction, and that's fine. Five vehicles. Ooh. Oh, we have a, we have a much faster tram. That's awesome. Yeah, give me two of those uh, set at both directions, T1, T2, and that should help. Cool. We have that set up, we have this set up, we have money in the bank. Wow, money is just coming in now. We should probably slow down a little bit, but not quite yet. 
iron is iron flowing iron is flowing and it's sitting on here but it's all falling off the platform obviously okay let's fix that because we can extend the platform the terminals by a lot we have this much room okay so let's add more uh, this one adds 80 i'm just looking at the biggest the biggest station that we can handle here or the biggest add-on we can handle 80 is the biggest so we're going to add that much there and then once we have room here we're going to add a lot more buildings there it would be cool if we can make this so that it's not just the the humongous buildings uh, like a <laughs> like an aggregate storage of some sort but hey that's fine now we can actually store a thousand units here and nothing's going to overflow and that should be fine and i'm expecting to see where is my extra long uh first triple header not you you're the one with steel coming in very nice <laughs> 500 I, i'm pretty sure that steel steel setup has to be upgraded here pretty much in the next episode but for right now this is okay um so you have stuff there make an extra money you are the extra long cargo train you definitely make money that's cool i only have one on here oh i was waiting for extra money <laughs> oops um let's go let's do this <laughs> i totally forgot about that yes uh first train yes please this one go that way and yeah Th this thing has to be redone next episode 100 gosh we're already way too late again thank you so much for watching this is what we did today i'm pretty sure this is all working <laughs> and i i hope you all uh got what i was trying to do um but yeah just set up a bunch of lines make sure that your trains are strong enough and fast enough to speed up to something reasonable that it makes you money because if your trains are a lot slower than what the max speed allows and that includes the max speed of the wagons and the uh, locomotives then you need to change that for right now i think we're doing pretty okay Ooh, brixham now wants tools great tools is probably the next next thing that we have to start building and fuel perfect <laughs> yeah no this is fun uh because it's just a really small area but we're doing a lot of stuff and that's exciting look how fast that guy just loaded up that's great um we're just going to follow this guy all the way home and i uh, hope you enjoy it Thank you so much for watching um i'm not going to slow down the speed of the uh, of the gameplay yet well, not the gameplay but the speed of the of the game itself because we still need a lot of money once we have a few hundred million sitting in the bank i can probably slow it down but all the big trains all the new trains are going to cost a lot of money and so we're not safe yet by any means but we are making money which is awesome last time thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time Bye bye